okay i keep saying what really got crazy but honestly the whole thing is crazy so just keep getting crazier with me i never knew people could be like that couldn't be me What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia Tucker. If you're new here, if you're new here, I make a lot of videos about college, lifestyle, beauty. Check out some more content and subscribe if you want to. But if you're not new here, then let's go ahead and get on to the tea. A story time about how I got catfish, what happened, just going through this manipulative, toxic environment. It's just a lot. So keep watching. If you are interested in seeing how I got this look, it's going to be kind of a chit chat, get ready with me but it's gonna be really a story time, get ready with me. So if you're interested, keep watching, and I will see you guys next time. Let's get into it. So I met this girl who catfished me, I'm gonna call her Michaela, through another YouTuber. The YouTuber herself, I've been following her for like a year, she makes great content, kinda along the lines of the same content as me. And she posted on Instagram a story about how everyone always posts all the good on social media. She wanted people to slide up and tell her their like hardships so she could not highlight that, but get it out into the air that not everyone's doing as good as you think they're doing. People sent in their hardships and she anonymously posted it. And it was really good to see that, you know, not everyone is doing as good as we think they're doing. Not that anyone is praying on anyone's downfall, obviously not, but just with the social media stuff, it's really easy to get caught up in so-and-so is doing this and all this other kind of stuff. So she did that, a whole bunch of people were applying and then she got a ton of answers and I believe this inspired her to want to create a group chat where I met the person who catfished me. I want to call her Michaela. She created this group chat in GroupMe where we all were supposed to come to this like sacred place, talk about our problems, talk about anything and just have people to back us up and give us a space to like vent and just positivity, growth, all of that, okay? The group chat was extremely great. I had a great time getting to talk to female friends and just getting to know girls. Great to hear so many different stories. The age range for the group chat was, I think there was a couple people in high school, so like seniors, all the way up to people who've already graduated high school, people trying to get into graduate school. So there was just a lot of us females and the group chat started off great, but then eventually it started becoming this one person trying to control the group chat. It was starting to get obvious that there was something like weird going on. Michaela would always ask questions that would retain back to her and what she wanted to talk about. She would honestly ask some weird questions. If you ask me, there are some questions about religion and like sex and all this other kind of stuff. And it was just kind of weird to be talking about those kind of topics like political, abortions, religion, sex, to people you never had really met before, you had no bond with, and it was kind of hard for, I don't want to say just me, I want to say a lot of girls to really understand why we are talking on the topic of religion and abortion and sex and all this other kind of stuff. She was a very strong opinionated girl, which there is nothing wrong with that, but it got to the point where people felt like they couldn't even tell their opinions because she just wanted her opinion to be very, very strong throughout the group chat and everyone was picking it up and it's crazy because looking back, I still talk to the girls in the group chat now and it was crazy because everyone was telling each other, you know, like we were noticing the red flags but we didn't want to be that one person to be like, um, like, we shouldn't be talking about this. Why are we talking about this? Uh, can we change the topic, please? Because everyone wanted it to be, you know, light, positive. This is what the group chat was made for. It wasn't made for, okay, well, how do you, how do you feel about abortions and blah, 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 like, no, 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 no. I didn't come here to talk about abortions. I didn't come here to debate on politics and all this other kind of stuff. I'm just here to vent about problems if I want to vent about problems to spread, you know, growth. And that's exactly what the group chat was made for. That's what I signed up for. That's what I was A-game for. I was not A-game for whatever Michaela was trying to make it into. So within the lines of talking, getting to know everyone in the group chat, it came to the era that a lot of us were YouTubers and so I put out that I also am a YouTuber and I have hopes and dreams one day to eventually start a podcast like branch it off of here once I 
get a big enough following and have time to dabble into completely, I want to say completely different hobbies, but just two different areas of entertainment. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. So she messages me, or no, she says, oh, I'd also like to do a podcast one day or something. We should do one together. And I'm like, okay, cool. That'd be so cool. And so we're like, the topic changes because there's like 20 of us in there. And you know, with everyone talking at the same time, uh, every topic only gets like a little bit of attention at a time, which is totally fine. But uh, she messages me and she's like, I'm so serious about doing this podcast with you. And I'm like, okay, like, let's get this thing up and rolling. I have no problem doing a podcast. I can make time in my schedule to do a podcast. I said this was one of my goals and I was like, okay, it's just coming earlier than later. I don't really know this girl, but she's been nothing but nice and opening and comforting. This was now. This was like at the beginning of the group chat before she started like manipulating and controlling and trying to act like the boss and the leader and stuff. It just gets crazy, trust me. All of this stuff was too crazy for me to even think. It was like a lifetime movie. So we're getting this podcast thing going. I even posted my story. Hey, you know, I'm starting a podcast, follow it. Or like be on the lookout for it. And I'm like owning it. And we were just not seeing eye to eye on what we wanted this podcast to be. She wanted to like go nose deep dive. Let's do this all right now. 100% energy, 100 or nothing. And I was like, whoa, like red flags low key, but I didn't want to be the one to be like, calm down, chill out. But with me already having a YouTube and at that point I was extremely consistent uploading twice a week. And I was like, okay, she wanted to go just 100, zero to 100 real quick and have me put all my effort into this podcast. And there was nothing wrong with putting effort, genuine effort into the podcast, but there was something different from her wanting me to take time away from school and her wanting me to take away time from YouTube, which is something that I had started doing first and something that honestly, I was gonna spend more time on YouTube than the podcast because YouTube was already up and rolling for me. I'd already started, you know, building my platform and taking it more seriously. So I wasn't about to just dump it for, I don't wanna say a random podcast, but for this podcast that I signed up for, but it wasn't, we hadn't even recorded our first thing. If you guys haven't seen my spring break vlog, definitely go check it out. I'll put a little clicker up there. But I had just came back from spring break and you know if you're in college and you just came back from spring break You know that from here on until summertime It is gonna be absolutely hell trying to get all those grades wrapped up and all the test 3 test 4 Or if you don't have a test 4 test 3 in the final Like literally projects coming up all that so I was booked and busy not even thinking about I wouldn't say not even thinking about the podcast but just not really about to put all my energy into the podcast over school or over my YouTube. So the pod and my personal life, just everything, girl. The podcast was literally like fifth, sixth on my list and it was number one on hers. And I was starting to catch the vibe that I was holding her back and all this other kind of stuff. And what really made me mad, this is just all while she's controlling the group chat, manipulating the group chat. At this rate, I'm not even in the group chat because I don't really want to get as emotionally invested into this group chat if I see that it's getting like negative and this is supposed to be a place for it to be positive. So I start, I don't want to say ignoring the group chat, but not really posting to the group chat as much or really looking in there because I noticed that she was definitely controlling it, controlling what to talk about. She would ask questions just so she could talk about certain things and I did not like that at all. So I already noticed that I didn't really like the way she handled things and the way things were going under her control in the group chat. So I was starting to question whether this podcast would actually be something good for me and we call each other we uh what did we do we skype each other with just our voices and we come up with ideas it seems like everything's gonna go good it's scheduled to go like full force and then she said something in the group chat things were just starting to go off the rail she started becoming shady towards me and i just didn't really understand it if we're gonna into this partnership i don't know why 
she couldn't communicate directly with me and that was honestly the biggest red flag. I wasn't about to sign myself up to be filled with drama all the time and just have bad representation on my name on social media. She messaged the group chat knowing that I was still part of the group chat at the time and she was like, how would you guys feel if you're in a partnership and the person you're working with isn't holding up their end of the deal? And I'm like, okay, how many other partnerships First off, how many other partnerships can you really be in if you, if we're like, you say you're what, 19 or something? I'm like, okay, that's definitely about me. So I private message her and I'm like, was that about me? Like, what's going on? We're supposed to be doing this podcast together. You're over here low key, like subtweeting me and you don't even want to talk. And every time you're like, oh, I know you're busy, but just check on this. I check on it and I tell you how I feel but I see you have different emotions in the group chat. Big red flag, I do not have time for any of that like kitty stuff. So she's like, no, it wasn't about you. I'm in many partnerships and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, whatever, cool. A couple girls in the group chat are like answering her and it's like, well, you should definitely check with the person, see if they like have stuff going on or if they have blah, 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 blah. You know, they're just answering it. A couple people were, were like, oh, you should take your talents elsewhere and stuff like that. And I didn't really know if they knew that she was talking about me, but some of the girls, I kind of had a feeling that she knew that she was talking about me and they were just like, I don't wanna say like tag teaming, but just not being the nicest about it and just like, oh, you should go elsewhere. Don't even waste your time with her. Don't even just talking about me. And I'm like, do you even know what's really going on? Like. I'm not wasting anybody's time, I'm not, you can take your talent elsewhere, I don't really care at this point, you stress me out to the T, calling me, texting me every five seconds about the podcast, when I'm at school, when I'm trying to take a test, when I'm doing other stuff with YouTube, and we had carved out times that we could talk about the podcast, not saying we couldn't talk if it wasn't the carved out times, but it was as if my life was the podcast for that like literal we worked on it for like a weekend and then i was like okay you're crazy i'm out so um i'm like okay whatever so at this rate i'm not talking at the group chat at all i see that you know just us being females and females having drama i just definitely scoot back and i post in there that i had dropped a youtube video and like y'all should go check it out because we're all YouTubers and we do that, you know, help each other grow and stuff. And she says after I post my video, oh, you don't wanna be, you don't wanna go watch her video. All she wants is, all she wants is your, your views or she's using you for views. She's doing this, she's doing that. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I just don't wanna be part. I didn't say this, but in my mind, I was like, I am not using anyone for views. If it wasn't for you being in the group chat, I would still be talking in the group chat. And so I, I think like one other girl piggybacked on the fact that I was like trying to be a clout chaser or something, but there was no clout to chase. I was just telling girls that I had been talking to previously about positivity and all this kind of stuff, sharing videos with each other. Hey, go check out my video. And then all of a sudden, because I don't talk in the group chat, it's, oh, you're a clout chaser. Oh, you're this, oh, you're that. And I'm like, no, that doesn't mean I'm a clout chaser. If I was a clout chaser, I'll be moving way differently, trust me. So, um, that happened, and then I knew for a fact that she was talking about me. We were still business partners. We were still supposed to be doing this podcast together, and I'm like, how are you talking shit about me and wanting to work with me at the same time? This girl was just weird. I don't know what, at the time I didn't know what was going on in her head because she would talk about me, then tell, she would talk about me in the group chat, and then in private message she would say, oh, that wasn't about you, this is about blah, 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 just acting so scary and not wanting to like own up to her stuff. And so I'm just like, okay, whatever. And so then after she like called me a clout chaser in the group chat and said that I was wasting her time in the group chat. So after her doing all that, I just messaged her privately and I'm like, okay, look, I really don't wanna do this. I don't really think this is gonna work out. Um, she always said like, oh, my stepmom has a podcast and who even knows if that was true, honestly, but my stepmom has a podcast and all this other kind of stuff. And I'm just like, okay, well, I don't want to hold you back from being what your stepmom was and this, that, and the third. So you can go ahead and, you know, continue with the podcast without me. 
and she's like, okay, blah, 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 whatever. And so she messages in the group chat, does anyone want to be part of the Boss Babes podcast? And like a lot of people said, yeah, I mean, it was a great opportunity. We thought the other person was going to be genuine. Michaela was going to be genuine. So at this rate, I look like terrible, like a, like I was BSing her and like truly just wasting her time. But no one really knew that she was just genuinely crazy. So another girl jumped up to the task to take on the podcast. And she was not the other girl, but Michaela herself, the girl who cat the girl who catfished me, was just still talking bad about me in the group chat. I had no idea like what was her problem. We haven't even met before in person. But she was just so pressed. She was like, Don't worry, I won't waste your time. I'll keep my promises. I'll do this. I'll do that. I'll take it seriously. And it's like, come on, girl. Like, we're all girls. We all know what you're doing. Like you're talking about me and how I wasted your time and didn't take it seriously and I didn't do this and didn't do that which is totally not true just because I had you know a personal life a school life a YouTube thing going on and just all these other things going on and I couldn't really put the podcast at number one so seeing that I left the group chat I was not about to surround myself with negative energy <laughs> especially from people that I like barely even knew never even seen in person so I left. I heard there was way more toxic and manipulative behavior from her, which didn't really surprise me. I started getting taken away with my makeup and I forgot that I was even filming. So, um, ooh, the fallout is crazy. Don't mind it. I'm putting glitter on both of these eyelids right now. It's not looking exactly how I want it to look, but we're just going to go with it, honestly, because we got way too far to even consider starting over oh i just want to point out at this time no one even knew she was a catfish everyone just knew that like she was very controlling and acting weird acting as if she like just ruled the whole group chat and another thing i didn't even mention was the youtuber who made this group chat she wasn't very present in the group chat because she was busy but she still wanted this place to be like a place of positivity and you know <clears throat> openness and acceptance so when I posted my video for everyone else to go watch it, remember when I like mentioned that, she messaged the YouTuber and was like, um, some people are in here just for clout and I really don't feel comfortable with them in the group chat talking about me. And I'm like, oh my God, can this girl get off my tail? Like I am not being a clout chaser. Like I said before, I'm just trying to get you guys to watch my video. Just because I'm not in the group chat because you are toxic doesn't mean I am a crowd chaser. doesn't mean I wouldn't be talking in the group chat if you weren't in it. But I wasn't about to say that to the whole group because I wasn't about to be that one person and be like a negative Betty. So I was just like, okay. And then she messaged me, Michaela, the catfish, messaged me on my like actual number because she had my number because we were doing the podcast together. And um, she was like, oh, the YouTuber said she doesn't want any clout chasers in there and that if you want to be in here, you need to talk. And if you don't talk, then we can kick you out. Not we, her, Michaela could kick me out. So basically she messaged the YouTuber to have full rights over who can stay in the group chat and who can't. And the YouTuber gave it to her because the YouTuber thought she was serious and that, um, like it was a real big problem I guess and I think the youtuber trusted her maybe I don't know what really made her give her the rights to add and remove people so basically she kind of made up a rule if you don't talk within a certain amount of time she would delete you out of the group chat which was so crazy that was like a red flag for everyone literally everyone was making jokes like hey um i'm about to go to sleep please don't kick me out of the group chat and hey i have an eight hour shift hey i'm not on spring break anymore and i can't really keep up with the group chat please don't kick me out it got to the point where that's what everyone was saying and i was just like oh no 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 i'm not doing that so i left i think i was the first person to leave but i think about two other people left from the group chat because it was just too much. I heard other stories about what ha happened after I left and just all this other kind of stuff. I'm sure more basically, honestly, shit talking was going on after I left. I never really realized what was everyone's problem, but 
whatever you can't please everyone so that's kind of the story of her just being a crazy psycho whatever whatever oh that's not even all of it girl and so let's get on to the part about the catfish so uh, yeah push comes to shove the youtuber kicks her out of the group chat and then we started thinking like how much do we really know about this girl we knew her real name and we searched up her real name and a totally different person popped up. So we're over here stalking the real person's Facebook. Well, we don't find her Facebook, we find her family's Facebook. And we saw that the parent had posted like happy birthday to the actual girl, Michaela the catfish, was using for the group chat photo. And she had made this whole Instagram page and she was like, oh, I have to stay on private because I have this stalker and I have to just remake my social media and I just have to be so careful. And she went out of her way to tell us that and that should have been a red flag too because we were talking about something and then she was like, I just wanna put this out in the air right now. I just need to get this off my chest. I have a stalker and they pulled up to my house. So I need to keep my page private. I can't really post my face on social media. Now looking back, that thing, that story was so BS, so, so BS. And we just ate it up. So it turns out that story was completely false and she was a stalker. She was the one that was stalking the actual girl that we found like her family on Facebook. So someone was brave enough to message the family and was like, hi i know your daughter is so and so um a youtuber made this group chat and a person came in there impersonating your daughter and blah 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 blah. it just gets better and better there's every time i tell a story there's more stuff that i missed so much happened at once so if i forget something and just say it just add it onto your brain don't try to keep chronological order because there's been a couple parts that I told in like the wrong order, but it was still crazy, so I decided to say it, so. Whew. She messaged her family and said, hey, um, I'm part of this group chat and someone's pretending to be your daughter. We're really concerned. Do you have any idea about this? Just like, just thought I'd let you know. And then the family was like, yes, we've dealt with this before. The real person's name is so-and-so. They've been doing this before. They're 17, we plan on pressing charges once she turns 18. And we're just looking like, boy, like we just got ourselves into something really sticky. Like we are dealing with someone who is already known for catfishing and all this other kind of stuff. So we look up the person's real name, right? And we look at images on Google and a catfish page pops up on Google. Uh, Instagram snap or Instagram screenshot on Google pops up and says, this person is a catfish known for catfishing, please be aware. So we're like, wow, like she is actually doing this thing. That is so crazy. And so we searched that name on Instagram and I don't think we found anything, but somehow, some way, we found all of her fake pages because we were getting scared. We were like, wow, she's probably gonna like try to catfish people with our information next. How should we protect ourselves? This, that, and the third. And so someone mentioned, oh, so-and-so just followed me. And literally that one person had followed all of us. And then we were like, oh no, this is probably her. And so we're looking at it and it was her, like pretending to be another person. A YouTuber had messaged us and said that she had been getting like harassed and stuff by this person, wanting her to like promote her YouTube channel and get her basically clout chasing. And that's not something the YouTuber wanted to do because that seemed a little weird. What really got weird was when the Michaela, the catfish, called the YouTuber's dad and got the police involved. She was threatening to sue. She was like, y'all are lying on my name, calling me a catfish, doing this, doing that. I'm gonna sue, I have all the receipts and this, that, and the third. Oh, and by the way, at this time, the second girl who was doing the podcast, I already quit the podcast because she said that she was crazy and stuff. She was really calling the police. Everything was just so crazy. I could not wrap my mind around all that was going on. The YouTuber said she wasn't really scared because the girl had nothing on her and the YouTuber did nothing wrong. She made a group chat to start positivity and the girl was the one who brought it other places, bullying uh, girls in the group chat and just taking it to places where it wasn't supposed to be. 
and somehow some way he found out that she was a catfish when we told the youtuber what Michaela's real name was the youtuber was like oh my god this makes so much sense you know now I know how she got my dad's phone number I know how this happened I know how this happened and it was all because the girl that was hiding behind Michaela, the catfish girl, she was the YouTuber's little sister's friend. And that was so, so crazy to me. The girl probably only made friends with the YouTube sister from what I'm getting from this whole situation. She wanted to get closer to the YouTuber to get her channel promoted and get her name out there through the YouTubers platform, which is so crazy. I never knew people would really do things like this. But then again, I'm like, I'm no one. I don't have any like huge following or something that someone would want. And I don't ever see someone, especially not at the like subscriber rate that I am at, you know, someone actually scheming and plotting on me to really get what I have and get what I built for myself. So it was just crazy to see how uh, manipulative and literally scheming and plotting out uh, people could be. Another thing I forgot to say is we had an editor for our podcast and she found him. This was back when I was still part of the podcast. Uh, she found this editor that she said that we should use. I'm like, okay, cool. We message him. We have this little group chat on Instagram message. And he tells us all about, you know, where we could take the podcast, things to talk about. We send him a little dry run of everything we want to talk about. And he edited for, he edited, he edited it for us and sent it back to us. And honestly, by the time he sent it back, I was already out. Like, I was not trying to do all that. So someone messaged the editor just to tell him that you know oh the girl was a catfish and it didn't really work out and you don't have to worry about this this that and the third anymore and he says i know the girl goes to my church her name is blah 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 the same name that the parents from the instagram said and we were just like whoa again like oh my goodness everyone knows like at first it looked like she was doing a great job being a catfish, but I guess not if literally everyone knows who you really are and, okay, that nose, that nose highlight or whatever I was doing right there did not work. But I guess you are not doing such a good job as you think if everyone is literally on to you. So the editor is like, yeah, she goes to my church. She's known for catfishing, blah, 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 blah. and. Um, someone told us in the group chat and we were just like, wow, like, this is really crazy. So yeah, he admits to knowing her and it is just like, wow, we really got played out here. I'm sure there's some other stuff. If I can literally sit here and think, I'm sure there's some other stuff that happened that I'm not really keying in on right now. Now we fast forward to the group chat that we have now, which is an iMessage group chat, which is a great group chat. It is actually a place that represents what the YouTuber wanted to be, which is positive, positivity, growth, sending quotes in every now and then, that kind of stuff. And at the beginning of the group chat, we were still kind of focused on the catfish because that's really what we were talking about. And it was like, how could we not be talking about it? And the catfish girl was messaging some of the girls in the group chat and sending them their addresses and just being like, oh, I know where you live. I know this, I know that about you. Just kind of like a, you better watch yourself. I don't know if that was a threat or something, but it was definitely uh, kind of crazy. So I was getting scared for the girls. The girls were getting worked up, like what should we do? Some people were telling their parents and stuff like that, but I didn't really feel threatened. There were some girls that lived in the same state as her and that's how that's why they felt even more threatened. Some girls lived all the way across the country. I was fortunate enough to not live in the same state as her, so I really wasn't as pressed. And she would just like send us photos of her family in the group chat and just gloat like, oh, doesn't my dad look so good? 
oh don't don't get all googly eyes over my dad but here's a picture of him and like no one asked to see a picture of your dad and so it was like weird i didn't even think her dad looked that cute honestly so i don't even know what she, and it wasn't even her dad it was the girl's dad it was a cat it was it was a person pretending to be another person and the person she was pretending to be it was her family that she was sending in the group chat like oh don't mind my dad just looking so cute and just stop some people are so sick man i can't even so it was just it was just crazy man it was so crazy we all had red flags we all had this and that and honestly it was really eye-opening though because i never knew people could be like that couldn't be me so yes ma'am that is the story of the time i got catfish caught up in just manipulation I guess low-key everyone got caught up in a little bit of bullying. It was a, a rough time, okay? It was crazy. Not the craziest thing that's ever happened in my life, but definitely top five. Just running into that girl and running into someone who could be really so manipulative and so just TTG. Which is trained to go if you didn't know what that meant. So that is the story. I just finished the rest of my face makeup. I hope it was really entertaining for you guys. I know it has to be because it was crazy on my end, so it had to be entertaining on your end. And I finished the makeup. It turned out a lot better than what I thought it was going to. It looks actually really beautiful. Let me just zoom in one more time, okay? It looks really good. It makes my face look really good. The highlight and all that stuff is bouncing off really good. But that is all I have for this time. Stay tuned for next time. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you later. Bye.